Hey guys, I'm Chris Cave, and this is The Redunculus. In Riverside, California, over 13,000 boxes of Girl Scout cookies were sent to the landfill after they failed to sell. A video of a tractor destroying the cookies at the landfill were posted online after last year's apparent lackluster sale, and workers in the video were reported as laughing while they said, Goodbye Girl Scout cookies. Area food banks were completely outraged at the video, believing that these scrumptious goodies could have been donated to the less fortunate rather than being destroyed. The Girl Scouts of America has reportedly taken steps to ensure that this does not happen again. Now, it would be really easy to just jump into this story and talk about the greed involved in destroying cookies rather than donating them to a worthy cause, but instead, I, I want to ask this question. How did the Girl Scouts not sell 13,000 boxes of cookies? They're Girl Scout cookies. Have you ever had a Girl Scout cookie that you didn't like? Actually, since I asked that, I did buy a box of mango creams this year that I could have done without, but that was an isolated incident. Girl Scout cookies are incredible. And it's not just that they're just such awesome cookies, but this is America. We thrive on cookies. There's... So much that airlines have to sell extra seats to passengers just to squeeze their backsides in. I know you're laughing at how you think I really wanted to phrase that, aren't you? <laughs> now, I know that we're supposed to be trying to get healthier in the United States, but when Girl Scouts knock at your door, this is supposed to be a time of exemption. It's sort of like a holiday. You splurge at the holidays because you know that they don't count, you know? New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, the BCS Championship, Super Bowl Sunday, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Earth Day, Easter, Memorial Day, Independence Day, the NBA playoffs, Arbor Day, Flag Day, Labor Day, Patriot Day, the World Series, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, the 12 Days of Christmas, and Girl Scouts of America Selling Cookies Month. These days don't count. And I may have just revealed why we actually have an obesity problem in the United States. And for all of you fact checkers out there, I know I probably didn't list all of those dates in exact Gregorian calendar order. And you probably wouldn't care so much if you weren't such a nerd. Hmm. Maybe fortune cookies are a little healthier. Oh, but now there's a fortune cookie problem going on too. Fortune cookie companies are changing the inserted paper fortunes to those that are Less romantic because parents have complained that they don't want their children reading them. So now, rather than romantic fortunes like you will meet a tall, dark stranger, fortunes read such as, There's no one else on earth as beautiful as you. Liar, liar, pants on fire. They're eating at a Chinese buffet. How many beautiful people have you seen waddling out of these places? And it's for the kids' sake? Are, are you serious right now? These are the same parents that have boys playing Call of Duty and girls with 15,000 Justin Bieber posters on their walls. Now, fortune cookie experts, they have those. Fortune cookie experts claim that it's better to keep the fortune bland. B bland, sure, why not? It would match the flavor of the cookie. Here's an idea. Buy Girl Scout cookies. Give them away after meals. No more Riverside incidents and all of the Girl Scouts get to go on their field trip. Tell me what you think. Are we actually getting so health conscious in America that we're leaving the Girl Scouts behind? Should they ditch their thin mints in flavor of something that leads to a thin America? And are the fortunes in fortune cookies just too risque for our delicate little flowers who will serve as the next generation of mayors, governors, presidents, and grown adults who lay on the couch and play Xbox all day waiting for their mom to bring them chocolate pudding and a Mountain Dew. Tell me this doesn't sound like an episode of Honey Boo Boo. Leave your comments below. I do want to hear what you have to say about this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like what you saw today, hit that thumbs up like button. I really appreciate that. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash redonkulousblog. Guys, that about does it for me today. I'm Chris Cave. Have a happy today, have a happy tomorrow, and when ridiculous just isn't enough, come watch The Redonculous, and I will see you guys later.